Today, I am walking you through creating a custom static cold boot for your PlayStation 3, just like the one you see on the screen right now. In order to follow this tutorial, you are going to need four things. The first thing is a custom firmware PlayStation 3. I'm using EvilNat 4.91, Webman and Multiman installed, a Windows PC, and an FTP connection setup. Last thing I almost forgot, you are also going to need to install the Easy Static RAF Converter. There is a link to a forum post on PSX Place with a Mediafire link that you guys can use to download and install this. And like I said, you need a Windows PC for this. I tried it on my Mac and couldn't get it to work. Maybe someone smarter than me can figure it out. To create the image file that we're going to use as our static cold boot, I'm going to be using Canva. It is a free image creator and we're going to go ahead and head into create a design and I picked a uh, YouTube banner. You can really pick anything. We're going to be able to stretch out the image and make it any size that we want. Now I only added text to this, but if you wanted to add other kinds of pictures or, or anything. Uh, you can do that, uh, but keep in mind that these are static, they're not animated in any way. Uh, but what I did here is I went ahead and I picked out some pre-set up text that I thought looked nice and would look nice on the boot screen, swapped it out for my logo, and then we are going to stretch it out and make it pretty big. The free background remover tool that I used uh, shrunk the file size that was exported from Canva. Um, I'm going to link a different tool in the description as well, along with like the one that I use that hopefully won't do that for you, uh, but it doesn't, it's not really a big deal, uh, it should be fine. Right now I'm exporting the file, and we're going to take that exported file and we are going to upload it to the background remover tool. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, this one, without signing up for an account, it only allows you to export a certain size but i didn't really notice any degradation in the image quality on my tv so i, I don't really think it's that big of a deal but like i said I, i'm also linking another tool down in the description that will hopefully not drink the file size for you guys next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that file that we just downloaded and we are going to drop it into the easy static RAF converter go ahead and once you double click the easy static RAF converter it's going to pop open that little browse for image you'll find your image in your downloads folder select it and then if you hit the show preview you'll see this screen here and these are the different options that you can use there's lots of preset stuff that you can do I'm using these radio buttons here to toggle around the position, but you can also set these to custom. You can stretch it out and position it however you want. And then once you're done positioning it however you want, we're going to go ahead and click convert. Once you click convert, it'll create a folder with two files in it in that same folder that your images existed in. And one of them is this preview image, and then the other one is the actual coldboot.raf file. Once you've created your coldboot file, we're going to head on over to our console. This right here is the current coldboot that is on my PlayStation. This is an example of a dynamic one. Once you have your PlayStation booted up, we're going to head right on into Webman, go into the setup. And we're going to enable the dev blind folder. And then once you have enabled that, we're going to go into multi man. And then we have to allow the ability to write to that folder. If you don't do this, you can FTP into your console all you want. You're not going to be able to replace those files. It will just keep failing until you turn both of those on. And we're going to scroll down in the settings till we find right access to dev flash. There it is. Go ahead, open that up and enable that. Leave multi-man open after you enable that. Now we're going to transition to our computer. Assuming you already have the FTP set up, uh, go ahead and FTP into your PlayStation. You're going to see this dev blind folder. 
uh, open this up, go into VSH, go into resource, and then we're going to scroll all the way down so we see coldboot.raf. You will not have coldboot-og.raf. Uh, that is my original, original coldboot. Um, and then what I did was I made a backup of the current cold boot on my PC. Uh, you can make it in both places. I recommend making backups in both places, one for convenience and one just in case something goes wrong. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the folder with our new cold boot in it and go ahead and drag over that cold boot dot raft. It's going to pop up and say, hey, do you want to overwrite this file? And you're going to say, yeah, I would love to do that. Now, as soon as you click overwrite and you agree to that, and in the bottom of FileZilla, you see that you've had a successful transfer, you're pretty much done. All you got to do now is just turn off your PlayStation and enjoy your artwork. Now, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. Or if you want to help me out in the algorithm, also drop a comment. Or if you have any suggestions on how I can make these videos better, what you liked, what you didn't like, also drop a comment. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.